Lion cub Vietzi is alone and distressed in his enclosure. There's been a tragic discovery. The dead body of Vietzi's best friend, Mufumu. Vietzi, who grew up with Mufumu, is now desperately craving attention. For the last five weeks, the two cubs had lived in a pride with three older lions, Tristan, Zippo, and Nash, following their successful introduction. Um, yeah, when I got here, all the lions were around Mufumu's body, and uh, what was quite disturbing is when I got there is that um, his um, the stomach area had been opened up, so it looked like they had been feeding on him. Yesterday he seemed fine. Um, just before I went, I went home, so he wasn't. He definitely wasn't sick. Baez is a little bit scared, but um, I've just phoned Kevin as well to let him know what has happened, and uh, he's uh, on his way here. The discovery is a shock. Rodney fears the three older lions may have attacked and killed Cub Mufumu. For Vietzi's safety, they've been separated and put in another enclosure. As soon as Kevin arrives, it's vital they determine how Mufumu died and whether the older lions were responsible. After hearing the terrible news of Cub Mufumu's death, Kevin has rushed to the kingdom. He wants to know if there are any clues that may reveal if the cub was killed by the older lions, Tristan, Zippo, and Nash. Although Mufumu and Vietzi had lived apparently happily with the pride for over a month, introducing new lions always carries a risk. Even if it's done as carefully as possible, violent attacks can still happen. There's no evidence to suggest a fighter. If he was in a fight, anyway, they're gonna kill this guy in the neck, immediately, a, mm. a suffocating bite. Mm. Mm. While the others rip him apart. Mm. If you look here, there's absolutely no puncture wounds. No, there's nothing. Nothing in the neck on his back legs where they normally bite them. Nothing. Mm -hmm. When lions attack, they claw and bite their prey from behind, pulling it to the ground. A suffocating bite then closes the victim's airways. On the neck, on the face, look at his face. Mm. His face is perfect. There's not even a mark on his face. And the other thing that's not adding up is that, you know, when, you, when I got the call, I, I immediately thought by Etsy. Immediately mm. thought this is Vietzi's been killed. Mm. If it was to, an altercation with them, because this guy was more confident, he was more sociable. Vietzi was a little bit more skittish and, and, and a little bit more terrified, you know. And they mm. obviously hone in on that kind of, wow. you know. You know what I'm thinking? Mm. Tongue does look a bit swollen. I'm thinking Pafeta. Tongue swells up, you can't breathe. Mm. The puff adder is a highly venomous snake. One bite on the throat could be enough to asphyxiate a young lion. And that's what Kevin believes happened to Mufumu. Don't even know what to say. I think what we need to do is maybe today just bury the body. No. It's likely that once Mufumu died, the older lions began to investigate the carcass and tear it open. Oh. 